for uh, this video here is going to be about uh, you know a uh, resistance uh, retribution i've been uh, playing it uh, a lot recently right uh, on my psp i really uh, like this game right because uh, it's like a third person uh, resistance so resistance is mostly uh, like a first person shooter but here it is uh, like a third person shooter right so yeah uh, it is the only game uh, like in the franchise uh, that was a third person right I believe this is only like for the PSP, so you can only get this like for the PSP. I don't think it was ever for PS3, right? But uh, yeah, you know, and uh, it is one of the later, I believe it is one of the later PSP games. So 2008, 09, 2010, uh, around that period, uh, this game came out. It is one of my earliest experiences like with the PSP, so it is really, you know, I, I have a lot of uh, memories uh, like with this one. Uh, a lot of memories about you know the uh, resistance uh, retribution right uh like i said before you know it's not it a uh, plays different than the other uh, resistance games uh, first off you know with the uh, controls right starting off with the uh, controls with most shooting games like on the psp you have to press x cir square circle triangle and to move the camera it is a little weird and a little awkward i know and uh, like with this game, I, I believe it is, you know, uh, you press, uh, you hold uh, L1, right, to aim. No, sorry, uh, R1, uh, it's a fire. Uh, the uh, right button, uh, it's a fire. Every weapon, like in the game, so basically, you know, like you have uh, different weapons. For example, uh, the regular, you know, assault rifle weapon, right? It's like, uh, like the main fire and the secondary fire is like some sort of a grenade launcher. The uh, auger, for example, uh, the auger arc uh, in the series, for example, you know, you'll uh, recognize, you know, uh, the auger. Uh, the auger basically, you know, is like, as a very a uh, cool weapon, the ammo uh, basically shoots uh, through walls, right? And a uh, secondary fire uh, creates like this shield. That is pretty cool. You have the far eye uh, sniper rifle, uh, the far eye sniper rifle, which literally, uh, you know, uh, it's like a sniper rifle, uh, but, the, but the secondary fire slows down time as you aim. The bullseye, you know, uh, the bullseye, although uh, it is a little bit different in this one, the bullseye basically shoots, you know, uh, there's a main fire, right, uh, like with the red uh, laser bullets, but the secondary fire is like this cool ricochet thing that uh, bounces off walls, uh, hits uh, many enemies, and yeah. You have uh, other weapons too, like the Strat Flint, a 12-gauge uh, shotgun. You have other ones too, like the HE-44 Magnum. The Magnum shoots out uh, explosive bolts. It is a uh, pretty cool, right? You have plasma, uh, grenades. You have uh, machine guns, right? You have the, you know, this a uh, powerful, you know, a uh, rocket launcher, and yeah. Plus, as well, like with this game, you know, the aiming is a little different. So the aiming, literally, your character constantly tracks enemies, right? As he as he is aiming at them, uh, you don't really have to aim. But you have to uh, move the camera, right? And yeah, so you press press at uh, the right button, right? Uh, can the PSP at uh, the shoot? It is a uh, pretty easy. Now sometimes uh, there will be uh, like, a lot of enemies like at once, and uh, you'll run out of bullets on your long range, uh, you know, a weapon. So you have to use the shotgun, right? Or like the Magnum pistol, right? And yeah, you know. But yeah, at the aiming, uh, you might uh, it might be uh, like, a little weird and a little bit too easy there. But yeah. going back to the uh, controls, and the main thing is that, you know, like uh, with the gunplay, because it is on PSP, it's understanding the uh, controls. This is not, you know, uh, it is not a console uh, controls, right? It is like its own uh, controls. And because you only had one analog stick, right? Like with the PSP, you only had one analog stick, right? Uh, that was kind of weird. So like with, you know, uh, the game, you know, uh, the game basically, uh, I believe it's like another, it looks at the a Chimera infection like in europe right like in france right you get you know introduced uh, to these uh, newer characters and uh yeah you know you basically see you know uh, you kind of see a uh, different uh, versions of the a uh, chimera here so you see like underwater a uh, chimera right you see these as well that can you know uh, explosive heads for example right similar to like in a uh, dead space right but yeah you know uh explosive right where where uh, if you get too close to them, uh, they'll explode. A mirror that can, you know, they literally climb on walls, right? Like another a version of them, and yeah. This one included a lot of underwater sections. So there's lots of, like, you know, swimming areas, like, in the game, right? You know, 
where you know as with most swimming areas in games you know you have to watch the swim meter you know the your uh, oxygen meter right and uh, once that runs out uh, you're dead uh going into a uh, more Vito as well there's lots of different uh, objectives right whether it be disarming a, a bomb or you know it'd be a killing these enemies like in a certain area or you have to kill like these you know massive roots uh, before you move on uh, to the next area right moving from area to area like in the game it actually feels pretty solid uh, the game is actually pretty a uh, uh, well paced right it isn't super slow it isn't super fast it uh, the pacing of the game feels just right and uh yeah as you gradually especially like uh you know as you gradually unlock newer weapons and newer weapons and newer weapons right you're getting uh, like a bigger arsenal and yeah um you know uh, the game in terms of uh difficulty right the game i uh, will challenge you like in certain areas you will be you know outnumbered there's one area where there's like two roots so the roots are like these a 10 foot a chimera and they carry like these a grenade launcher a variant uh, with them and these ones though they're very annoying because they're very heavily armored and they do a lot of damage uh, these brutes are they very effective so there's two brutes coming at you and you know like at this point uh, you don't have the uh, rocket launcher right so uh, you'll get overpowered uh, very easily the main thing though like is walking up the cover taking cover like as much as possible as soon as you walk up the cover right i believe you press up to go down or is it like, uh, down to go down and uh like you're in cover right so take cover like as much as possible your health bar goes on pretty quickly but you know uh if you get used to it the game is it gets very easy it's very easy easy uh, to follow the easy habits and yeah visually as too i like the visuals in the game i really like the visuals a lot of psp games you know a lot of them will have like uh like an early like an iphone 4 iphone 5 mobile game graphics right so very old graphics but uh, this one though as well uh, it looks like a like a solid for example uh, it looks like a solid a ps2 game right it looks like a, a ps2 game kind of like an early ps3 game i'm uh, not quite there but uh, for psp standards uh, it looks pretty solid right in the character design the enemy uh, designs the environment uh, the landscape the areas uh, they look pretty impressive um you know in terms of I believe there is this thing like with the console so if you have the console copy of resistance 2 if you are connected to your psp through a usb the, uh, the old usb wire if you are connected uh with that basically you actually i believe you are able to transfer over you know uh like an extra mode like an extra uh, like an extra uh, heavy damage mode or something like that uh, you can actually breathe like underwater uh, infinitely and yeah so yeah, if you're on PSP and if you see this game, like I highly uh, recommend uh, picking uh, it up, right? I highly uh, recommend it, right? It might be hard to find in your area, uh, depending like on your area. It is hard to find in my area, but I had this since I was like 12 years old. So I had it since like 09, right? So 2009, so it's been 15 years, right? But, you know, uh, it might be hard to find like in your area, but if you have a PSP and if you're looking for like a third person shooter, I highly recommend picking it up. So like and subscribe. Thank you.